Now this area, this right here is your wheel. It's for your lens spacing wheel. So if you guys had a MetaQuest 2 before, you would have had this kind of in the middle. So it would have been different. MetaQuest 3 is different. So all you have to do is just move it side to side. That's the wheel. And then you're gonna notice your lens will change. Obviously when you're changing this, you should be wearing your MetaQuest in order to get the right amount that you need for your case. Because everybody's gonna be a little bit different. As long as you guys get the spacing right, they should not be blurry. Now something else, now that we're taking a look at that, in here, you're gonna notice these buttons. So there's a button there, a button there. And those are your buttons for your depth adjustment. So what you have to do is just press them. So I'm pressing on this one, pressing on that one, press them both, and then you kind of like lift this up in order to get more spacing. So let me just show you. Now remember when you're adjusting these, so you're pressing those buttons. You can move this up just to get it out of your way. So just like so, you can move this up so to that way. And then you guys will have more freedom to press these buttons and then just move it up or down, depending what is best for you. So a quick tip is to take a look here. You guys will see that white dot. That means that I have it set up there. It could be all the way down. So again, press on it. And yeah, it's kind of tough. It's like not the easiest thing but you're supposed to see this sliding up and down. So let me just show you. I tried to get that on camera. So if I press on those buttons, I can slide it down. And now it's on the second. See that? So that's way, that way I adjusted this. And then all the way down is right here. That's something you're gonna have to adjust as you put it on. So you put it on, you adjust it, you put it on again, you adjust it, and then you see what's best for you. But you guys will be able to see that. Now this part, uh, so when some people pull this out, you're going to see that you tend to pull everything out. You don't want that. You want to just slide this up. So you press on it, just slide it up with your fingers. So right here, put your finger and slide it up. So this stays attached, but this is sliding up. So as you guys can see, I moved it all the way up and I can move it all the way down and just get that on camera a little bit better. It's kind of hard to record this, but. You guys can hear those clickings and it went all the way down. Uh, again, it doesn't have to be like that. You guys can just go halfway. Depends on your own settings, but that's how you would do that. Now it's the same thing when we're doing the lens spacing, this wheel. You wanna move this left and right while you have it on in order to get that right for you. So that's how you guys can fix it when it's blurry. The first thing you wanna do is adjust this plus adjust this height and then you should be okay. As far as this goes, you guys can place it like so or up, it depends. Again, that's your own comfort level. Most of you will have it back here. And now let's get on to the controllers. You guys know how that works. So the controllers, to activate them, we'd have to pull this out and that way the battery will touch and it's gonna start working. Now, let's say you guys wanna change the batteries. The batteries are no good that came with this, which is very unlikely, but can happen. To change the batteries from the MetaQuest 3, it's all about this button up here. So I'm gonna try to get a close up so you guys can see how to change the battery or just at least look at your battery. See this up here? That's the button to release this door. And that releases this door. So that's where the battery's at. And you guys can go ahead and just take out that battery and put a new one. As you guys may notice, this is when it's brand new. It has that. So that way when you pull it, it makes that contact and then it just turns on. So I'm not gonna pull that right now, although we will be doing that in a second. I just wanted to show you guys how you guys can take this out. Um, but to activate it, you just pull this out. But to take out the battery or change it, that's how you guys do it. And then we just put this back like so. Once you align it, go ahead and push it up. It's gonna click in. But this is a button. You just press on it to release and that should open up. Let me just show you the, with the other one. Again, you just press this button and that makes this release. I'm just gonna put it back and there we go. So that's how you guys can activate these guys and uh, just pull this to activate it, change your battery. You just have to press there and then just change the battery. Now, since we're talking about the controller itself, not everybody uses this, especially if you get other accessories, you might want to take this out. It's very easy to take out and it does include you pressing this button to release the battery. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna release the battery. And down here below, 
you're going to notice that if you take this to the side, it comes off that easy. Then you can just put this back on. Let me just show you. Slide it up. And there you go. You just took this out. You can put it back in at any time. Just by pressing this button again. You slide it back in like so. So right here. See how that slid in? You put this there. Slide it up as well. And you're done. So that's how you guys can take this off or install it again. All right, so on the box itself, the one that you open to get all your stuff, you should see this. Just scan it with your iPad, iPhone, whatever phone you guys have, or whatever tablet, you can use that to scan this. And then you can just get started with the whole setup process now that you're ready. All right, so I'm just gonna do that with my iPad. Once you scan that, it's gonna take you to a website and then this will pop up. So let me just show you better. Now we don't need the box anymore, done. now that we scanned it. Uh, the MetaQuest app, which used to be called Oculus app, is available on the App Store if you guys have an iPhone. Android, same thing, you guys have that available for you. Now I'm gonna do this on my iPad so you guys can see something better, a little bit bigger. So right here, it's telling me to enter my Wi-Fi details on my headset, uh, use QR code from this app, or headsets already connected. So we can continue on depending what you guys want to do. So at this point, you would have to wear your headset. If you want to scan the QR code, we would press here, you would see a QR code. We just scan it with our headset, but we have to wear, be wearing our headset. Um, you can headset already connected, which means you already turned on your headset and you just entered your Wi-Fi password and all that stuff. But we're assuming you didn't do that just yet, or just enter Wi-Fi details on your headset. So type your password using your controller. So you can choose that, choose that too. I wish I could show you that, but really it's all about yes, turning on your, your headset right this second so we can continue on with the setup. What I recommend doing is putting on your headset, just turn it on and then choose this option to use QR code from this app because that will be technically easier because that's all you have to do. Now to turn on your MetaQuest for the first time and uh, before we turn it on actually, we should take these off because you don't need them. These are very important to have them on as you're adjusting everything, but you can't really adjust everything. As you have to take those off because that's when you guys can go ahead and adjust with this and maybe even this, move it up or down depending uh, what's more comfortable for you. Most of you will just keep it as is and then you will be moving this so it's not blurry, but to turn this on, you do have to press the power button. So that's on the left-hand side. You just have to hold on it so for two seconds, just hold on to it. And from there, this should be turning on. Now you guys can go ahead and wear it. If you put this on right now, you should see the Meta Quest icon. So their logo in the middle, you should hear that sound that I just, that we just heard right now. And again, if you have this on your head right now, it's gonna ask you to activate your controllers. You need your controllers to be active. So in order to activate your controllers for the very first time, we have to just take this out. So that way the battery is all hooked up and same goes with this controller. Take this out. You should be able to feel a slight vibration from your controller that indicates that it's powered on. Now this one's from my left, this one's my right, but on your MetaQuest, it's gonna tell you which one's switch so you don't get them confused because yes, you could technically hold on with your left, this one, but it won't feel comfortable. But if you hold on to this one, then you'll notice that it's all comfortable. You can finally have access to both of these two main buttons here and then access to everything else as well. So for the rest of the setup, it's all done within your Oculus. But before I keep going with that, I just wanna show you this right here. You guys can adjust this to make it tighter. So you can just do that and then just pull on it. And there you go, it's gonna be tighter. So you don't want this to be too loose or else it's gonna get a little bit blurry. Now this, same thing, to make it tighter, just pull it to the sides, it's gonna be tighter. Or if it's too tight, just keep pulling it towards the middle and that's how you guys can adjust this so it fits really well on your head. Again, you have to be wearing it in order to make these adjustments so they make sense to you. So if you have this on, it's gonna ask you to select your language. Then it's gonna go through some of the stuff that I told you until you get to the part where it tells you to scan the QR code or just put in the password yourself. So I suggest just choosing the QR code and that way it's gonna be faster. So if you did that, 
don't fill up your information about your Wi-Fi because technically your phone or your tablet is most likely already connected to Wi-Fi. So just going to continue, then it's just gonna fill up that information, which Wi-Fi network, and then all you have to do is just put in the password. That is, unless your network doesn't require a password, you can put a check mark there and just connect. But right now we're gonna put on get QR code. There's my QR code. And right now, if you put on your MetaQuest, you can go ahead and look at it, and that fills it up right away. So as I mentioned before, after you hook it up, it's just gonna connect to your internet. That's the main thing that we want the MetaQuest to do. And then just keep going with the setup on your tablet or phone. This is the screen that you should see. It's just a lot faster to do it here because you can type up faster on your phone or tablet than doing everything with your controller, but you could. Anyways, we're gonna go on, acknowledge. There's some stuff about your privacy, Just keep continue on. Uh, you're gonna see this screen, show additional data. This is if you want to, if you don't want to, press the not share. I wanna share just to get things better. Uh, right here, enable hand. So uh, here it is, your hand tracking and body tracking. You probably do want that. It'll be very odd that you do not want to do that now, but go ahead and enable it. And then from there, it's gonna take you here where it's gonna be looking for your headset. So here's my headset. And at this part, it's gonna ask me for a five digit code. I can only see that five digit code if I have my headset on me or else I will not be able to do that. So right now I got disconnected, it's fine. I'm gonna put try again. It's just because I'm doing this video, I'm taking longer than usual, but you should be wearing your headset at this point. So you can type that in here. So let me just put on my headset and I'm gonna see that code. Now for some of you, and actually most of you, it's gonna download some software updates. So you see those lights that are turned on and you see the fact that you might not be able to connect. It's because it's doing that. It's downloading those updates. Once that's done, we can continue on. So it's okay if you don't see those codes right away and it's just not hooking up, just let it download. And you can only see that if you're wearing your headset, by the way, you're gonna notice that all the way on the top, just look up a little bit you're gonna see that it's downloading updates. Now, since your MetaQuest is doing an update, it's recommended to charge it up, even if the battery's okay. It's a brand new headset, so that's why we have to plug it in, especially when running any updates. So make sure to plug it in, some electricity, so that way you can just charge it up. And once it's done with the update, it's gonna play a sound anyways. So you don't need to wear your headset at this point since it's running that update. We're just gonna plug it in and then it's gonna charge up. So now my headset is hooked up some electricity. So how do I know my headset's charging? Well, usually you should see a light here unless your headset is restarting right now because the update, it's okay if you don't see a light right away, but you should technically should see a light right here. That would mean that it's, it's charging. Everything's working like it should. So there's a lot of updates happening at this point, which is a good thing. And you might notice that you got something here, a screen saying that it's updating your controllers now. That's okay. You want everything to be updated so everything works properly. Just don't touch anything for the meanwhile. Some of you might have seen the code in your MetaQuest. Others would have seen it maybe for a second. It would have gone away and then you would have seen the screen. It's fine because that means it's just paired and you didn't have to put in those numbers. So in your app itself, just going to continue on and then you're all set. Just click on done. There we go. So your MetaQuest app should have opened up because that's where the whole setup takes place. And you would have seen this, your MetaQuest 3. It's all good. Um, it will say all apps updated or something like that. It'll tell you some stuff here, depending. But at this point, you're pretty much done with the setup. Everything else will take from here. So just put on your headset. Keep looking around, see what else you guys want to tweak with the settings as well. Now, if you put on your headset and right now, after doing all these updates, it's telling you a code and you can't get past that right there. Although you see that everything got hooked up and everything looks good. Well, we can finish the setup. So what I want to do is just go here. So what I did was just tap on my MetaQuest 3 from there, down here below, tap on it. That way you get to this screen. On this screen to pair it up, what you have to go into headset settings you wanna finish the setup. So right now, something should load up so I can go ahead and copy everything from here. So just acknowledge everything. Go through all the screens that we kinda of already went through so you can share your data and all that stuff. Then it should say something like so. So you guys can go ahead and press done. And then from here, put on your headset again. And finally, at this point, you guys are actually all done. So you can go back, back. 
and everything else will be taken care of right here on your meta quest so just put on your meta quest and finish off making the boundary that you need to make that's gonna be the first thing that it asks you and continue on with uh just the normal stuff that you you have to do you guys will notice and it's gonna guide you throughout the whole thing as long as you put on your meta quest right now so if you had a meta quest 2 before another meta quest it's gonna ask you right away if you want to re-download everything so all the games that you purchased and everything that's all online so it's going to ask you if you want to re-download them or not or you can just re-download the one or two or however many you want into right here your new meta quest and that's how that transfer works you just have to set this up you're logged into your account so everything's in your account already so it's all about just logging in and it's going to ask you to go ahead and just download whatever you want, whatever you want. It's all in your account. You don't have to repay for any apps, nothing, because you already bought those apps. They're yours. They're in your account. This might be a MetaQuest 3. It doesn't matter. Those apps that you guys downloaded on your other MetaQuest can't transfer over just by downloading them again. It's that easy, that simple. But as far as this video goes, we're all done. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.